this will be a quick video. Uh, I'm uh, practicing making uh, ring seals. This one I'm going to do by an, an insertion method in another video. Uh, but the uh, the rod or the uh, excuse me the tubing that I want to insert uh, into the blank is very short. Uh, I cut it here and I need to fire polish it. So. I could try and hold it with my fingers right in the flame, but that's going to be very awkward. It's going to get my fingers real close to the flame. So what all I've done is basically just taken a long Q-tip. These are the kind of swabs that are used for cleaning gun barrels and uh, other uh, types of things where it's difficult to reach and it's better than a Q-tip. Uh, and this gives me a handle. Uh, it's not the sturdiest handle. I can't put a lot of uh, force uh, on it, but it will allow me to fire polish uh, the cut end of the uh, glass tubing before I need it. It's uh, Especially with me just moving it around, it's a little off-center, but I can kind of compensate for that. If you notice, this Q-tip has a little bit of a singe on it. Uh, I used it before uh, in the uh, videos where I made the uh, fermentation tube. And in this case, I'm not going to even bother reaming this out. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a fire polish, and, and there you go. Uh, so again, having something like this acting as a handle is really useful because otherwise, you know, I'd have that short piece of glass, and I'd be approaching the flame like this. Even a small flame, uh, you, can, you can still feel it on your fingers. And so here, no, no fuss, no muss, uh, it's fire polished, uh, everything, everything's good, and no safety issues. Uh, if you do singe the Q-tip, you just dip it in a little bit of water and, it, and it's fine. 